Hello guys, today I'm gonna show you how to install WatOS R8 on your uh, VirtualBox or your PC. I downloaded the 64-bit version of it, and uh, it was released just uh, today only, uh, maybe a few hours ago. Uh, I downloaded the MicroWatt version of it. Uh, micro, as you can see, it is uh, WatOS R8 MicroWatt.iso. So there are different uh, three different versions available for it. Uh, the first one is the microboard, second one is the, uh, uh, let me just recheck, I just forgot, uh, just to watch, so, so, in, I'm gonna land to the download page first of all, like, it has three desktops, uh, first one is the microboard edition 8, Second one is the LXDE and third one is the mid desktop. So you can choose between the three desktops and you can download according to your liking. So I just downloaded the, the Microbot Edition 8 and uh, I'm now gonna install it on VirtualBox. First of all you have to open VirtualBox. Uh selection, let's remove it. Okay, so I'm gonna create a new virtual machine. Uh what OS R8 64 bit. So the OS is based on Debian and Ubuntu combined. So maybe I'm gonna choose Ubuntu. Yeah, that's perfect, I guess. So I'm gonna give a base memory of 8 GB. I'm gonna create a new virtual hard disk, allocating it around 40 GB. Okay, let's make it 50 GB. I'm gonna grease the CPU cores as usual. Making it a quad core virtual machine, I'm gonna displace the display. So I'm done with this. Now I have to select the ISO file that I just downloaded. And the ISO file is uh, around 681.6 MB. This is a 64 bit version. So I'm gonna select it and start the installation and wait for the installation screen to appear. So uh, you get uh, the four options there for it is a f uh, live version uh, second one is a f safe mode Se third one is a memory test third one is that you can boot the hard disk in which the OS installed so I'm gonna choose the live version the first option uh, let's see what we get in the live boot Okay, so here we are in the micro watt edition and uh, here's a home screen here you can choose between various applications you just have to right click on the desktop maybe on anywhere and you can choose between different options I'm sorry and uh, install what OS okay so we have an option of installing what OS now I'm gonna install it English forward my time zone is Asia uh, where's my country man where's my country man where's my country Asia it should be there guys Asia India Asia and yeah, let's fuck it man I don't give a damn okay so I'm gonna be go with the basic installation I'm gonna press forward I'm gonna give it my full name Aniket my password Hello. I'm gonna give it a host name of my name only I'm gonna click forward and select my virtual hard disk yeah, it will partition the hard disk, so I will yeah, click yes. So it will uh, format your hard disk to swap an ext4 and it will divide the hard disk into two uh, separate partitions. So I'm gonna click forward. Okay. Let's select uh, SDA2. It has a free, free space of 4, 45 GB 414. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, ok 
okay so i'll format it as exe4 okay and uh, yeah i'm gonna click forward i'll install grub yeah that's fine uh, grub is a bootloader used to load the linux kernel yeah that's fine i'm gonna click forward and now install the os I have to wait for a few time and as you can see it is based on Debian VZ Debian 7 so the OS is OS might be similar to Debian 7 so yeah that's fine I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back when the installation gets completed up ok now we have finished installing the OS and now I'm gonna reboot uh, yeah so basically it took me around 5 minutes to install the uh, to get the installation to be completed and yeah fine so we are, we are now gonna boot into the OS or okay, you get two options with Linux kernel 33 point something yeah fine so let's see what we get after the li live boot up not live boot up maybe uh, yeah we are in this OS now and uh, well that's annoying it should log in I guess we'll just leave it so the operating system is now you can check out my next video for the review. Peace.